Hi everyone, welcome to Data Science Alert. Now we will supervised learning. This is the regression and classification problems. That is how we address it. This is the overview. In this topic, we will cover overall algorithms under regression and classification. That is high level. We will cover it in the next video. First, regression is in machine learning. This is a predictive model. Predictive is the future of the future. So, if you want to use the future, you can use the time, you can use the relationship. That's why we use the regression to use the time based. For example, the sales forecast in the future, how it is going to be based on the past or previous performance. We can use the regression to use the two variables. In this case, we can use the regression to use the regression to use the regression model or regression technique. So, what do we need to cover in the regression? First, we need to cover the simple linear regression, multiple linear regression, and then polynomial linear regression. These three are similar to the same method. What do we need to talk about is decision tree. Decision tree is a very very old technique and still it's been widely used in machine learning. For example, Xbox Kinect is a pattern recognition and still they are using decision tree. Then we are going to look into random forest technique and at last support vector regression. This is the most widely used algorithm we have covered. In the case, we have to fine-tune the regression models and the performance increase. We have to look at the classification. So, classification is what we have to do. It's nothing but grouping or classifying the data. We have to say a simple example. We have to say a grading system. We have to say a particular mark. We have to say a grade A. We have to say for example, 60 to 70 to grade B. 70 and above grade A. This is the classification of this classification algorithm. In this classification technique, we will cover the algorithm as well. Logistic regression, support vector machine, K nearest neighbor, K and N, which is very important. Neighbor as also very important. Then kernel SVM, decision tree classification, random forest classification. At last, in the classification techniques, how do you evaluate the model? How do you evaluate the performance of the model? How do you fine-tune the model? How do you evaluate the model? How do you evaluate the model? Let's see these two things. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Post your feedback in the comments. Like and share. Thank you for watching this video.